something real good. So if you know anybody who's in a relationship and they keep attracting the same person, let me, I mean, we, we got to, um, we got to deal with that. We're going to deal with that today. We're going to talk about why. <clears throat> and I've been on in the vein for the whole week talking about the law of attraction, talking about how we, you know, we attract into our lives many things that we're getting, pretty much most all the things we're getting. So let me get started with the story. So someone called me not too long ago, and it was a female that uh, said, Ken, I heard what you said about the law of attraction, and I know that, you know, that what you're saying, I like what you do, I follow you, but I don't believe that the law of attraction works. I don't believe that it works. And so I said, okay. She says, because I keep dating and I keep attracting the same type of guys. The uh, same type of guys, who guys who are, you know, uh, unavailable, they are, they are abusive. And she went on and on and on. And I said, okay. And then I said, I said, let me ask you a question. And she said, I don't understand how the law of attraction works, so it doesn't work. And then I said, let me ask you this. I said, do you understand how gravity works? She's like, what? I said, do you understand how gravity works? And she said, well, not really. I said, no, you don't understand how gravity works. You don't know the intricacies of gravity, what formula it works. But you know, if you jump your ass off a building, you jump your ass off a, a 10 story building, you're going to die. You're going to fall to the bottom. You know that, right? And you don't have to know how gravity works for it to actually be working in your life. All right. So gravity works, y'all, whether we know how it works or not. And we do know that the force of gravity has on our bodies. If I jump off a building, I'm going to fall. All right. Even some of the people who defy gravity, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, only for a few seconds, only for a few seconds, a couple of seconds, can they defy gravity. Now, so because you don't know how the law of attraction works in your life, doesn't mean it's not working. The truth is, it is working. So I drill down with her. I begin to ask her deeper and deeper and deeper questions about her. She says, I keep attracting the same kinds of guys. And um, I said, tell me about the guys. She says, number one, they're emotionally unavailable. I said, okay. She says, number two, they are somewhat abusive, okay? They raise their voice and they talk to me any kind of way and, 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 and they cheat and all these things. I said, oh, okay. And then she began to tell me all these things. And then I said to her this, I said, the, re the reason, <clears throat> it almost caught me. I got, I, I've been eating y'all, eating my yogurt got down my throat. All right, not Corona. <laughs> Anyway, I said, the reason you keep, so I kept questioning, 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 questioning her. And I said this, if I told you it's something about what you believe, there is something you believe that keeps attracting these people. And she was like, well, what could it be? Uh, this and that. And I, I don't believe it. And I don't, uh, yeah, what, well, what? Well, I just believe. And so I began breaking it down. So I started asking her deeper questions. And I said this. I said, tell me what you believe. What do you, number one, tell me the people you hang around. I said, what are you and your girlfriends talking about? We talk about all men cheat and we talk about that. I said, what do you look, what TV shows do you look at? She was like, I said, for real, you look at Ratchet TV, Housewives. She's like, yeah, I like that kind of stuff. And then I began to tell her, I said, so what's happening is to you is your subconscious program, your, your, pro, your, 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 your subconscious mind is being program by everything you're taking in. And then all of a sudden we get to the deep. We went, we, we went real deep. And when we get real deep, I said, tell me something about your life. I said, tell me something. What are you holding on to? And all of this. And then it, it got down to when she was young, she had seen her mom be abused. And then now it came out and she started crying, y'all. And she said, you know what it is? I realize it. So when we dug deeper and deeper and deeper, she says, I realize that I believe that men are going to be abusive towards me. There it is. I found it. There it is. 
Once you go deep, I found it. Now, because her deep psyche, her deep conditioning, she on a deep level believed that men were going to do that. And when you believe something, that what you believe will be attracted unto you. And I said, and so then we commence on the process of changing that paradigm, that shift. And if you don't know what it is you believe, because part of what you believe is keep keeping you on a vibrational level that is attracting everything on that vibrational level. And y'all, I've been going through this the whole week. And the reason I'm going through this is because we'll get deeper in in the three day challenge that we have. But I got you to un I got to under want you to understand it's not that it doesn't work. It does work. It does work. But what it is, is you got to find out what it is that's resi the resistance in your life that is keeping it from working for you. Okay. And you might say, well, some people, you ever been around people who say I win all the time. And the more you see, they keep winning. You ever see people who make money? The more, the more, they, the more money they make, the more money they make. All right. They make money. Then they keep making money because money is attracted to them because they look at money in a certain way. All right. They view it in a certain way. And until you begin viewing relationships in a certain way, because some people review, uh, re, re, uh, they look at relationships in a very negative way. And the truth of the matter is with that mindset, you're never going to attract what you want. What you're going to do is you're going to keep saying those negative things and that's what you want to get into your life. And so today I want to get into, I wrote down a couple of things that I want to understand about the programming of your mind, the programming of your mind. I should have called it the law of attraction, the programming of your mind. But I said, I keep attracting the same person because that's what she said to me. And then y'all, what you don't know is this. And this was a while back. And now she has changed her thought paradigm. She's changed the way she views everything. And now all of a sudden when she couldn't get a date, it's amazing. Guys are asking her out. She's like, now I got to know what to do because before I wasn't getting asked out. I said, all of it is a process. And all I want you to do is trust the process. Trust the process. And it works for every area of your life, your finances, your relationships. It works for your school, whatever it is, y'all, it works. And so today I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you what I need to give you. So the law of attraction, like I said, is like gravity. The first thing you got to do is be, be willing to ask yourself, why do I think the way that I do? Why do I think the way that I do? Because this is, um, there's a thing called metacognition. And metacognition is simply thinking about your thoughts, thinking about the thoughts that you have. Most people don't think about the thoughts they have in their, on, a, on a daily basis. They simply think the thought, okay? They think, they, they say we have on average about a daily 65,000 thoughts a day, okay? Now, here's what, what people don't know. Here's what people don't know. The, do you know? That you can, you know, have you ever said something like this? I, I, you know, I got so many things on my mind. Like you think you're thinking about thoughts at the same time. Do you know the brain cannot occupy more than one thought at a time? But you think because there's so many thoughts in succession that you're thinking about your brain is cluttered with thoughts. And what happens is we never think about the thoughts we have. We never think about how we view things. And one of the things I said yesterday, if you change the way you look at things, you change what you see. And so what I'm telling people is you have to be willing to ask your questions. Why do I feel the way that I feel about relationships? First, you got to identify the feeling. What, what is it? And, and, and this is what I had her to do. I said, write down everything you think about relationships. All right. Write down everything you think about me. And don't hold back and don't tell me what I want. You think I want to hear. Because at the end of the day, I'm just trying to help you get what it is you desire. And if you don't ever think about the thoughts you have, why do you think them? What brought on the thought? And when I kept asking her questions and finding out that she believed that men were going to be abusive, and when I got to the root cause of it, when I pulled up the root, I realized you can never be with somebody because you always, you're going to attract people who are abusive because you believe they're going to be abusive and they're going to be abusive to you. And y'all, like I said, it's all about the vibration we're on, our thoughts, they're starting the process, all right? So the first thing is you got to ask yourself, hmm, why do I believe that? 
And just because I believe it doesn't make it so. It doesn't make it true. Because you believe, and I asked her, she said, I believe all men cheat. I said, you do? I said, you believe that, right? I said, you truly believe that, right? I said, or do you, do you say that to justify why you don't have a man? Which is it? And then I said, do, I said, so let me ask you this. Do you believe there's one man out there that doesn't cheat? Just one. Only one. There ought to be two. One. She said, well, yeah, but I don't know. I said, but, but that wasn't a question. I said, you're answering a question I didn't ask you. I said, do you believe there's one man out there that did not, that does not cheat? And she said, yeah. I said, if there is one, if there is one, then the thought process that you have is flawed. If you believe there could be one, then it's flawed. Then we got to change the way you believe. You got, we got to change what you think because you've, you've accepted it as a belief. Y'all, a belief is only a belief once you accept it. We hear a lot of things all day long, but we don't make it a belief. The belief, it, belief comes when we accept it as true. We accept it as a fact. And that was not it. And she was like, dang, I ain't never thought about it like that. I said, you know why you never thought about it like that? I said, because you didn't want to. I said, the truth of the matter is you were comfortable thinking what you've been thinking because you know what to expect in that mode. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The reason why we don't want to change our thoughts is because thinking something new means that something else might happen in our life. And uncertainty is bigger than not knowing. Uncertainty is bigger than even being uncomfortable. When like, why do we think y'all, we want things to stay the same? We drive to work every day. We do the same thing. We want to make sure that things stay the same because we're certain. Y'all, the truth is, I realized something the other day. I realized the more I try to have security and understand and power and control over my life, the more I realize I'm not in control. Things can happen any day, at any time, anywhere. And the truth of the matter is, I could be gone. Anything, any one of us, we don't have any control. When you realize that, you gain control. It's that simple. Number two, I say this. What, ooh, what is your subconscious mind getting fed? So that's why I asked her, I said, number one, I said, I said, number one, the reason why you keep attracting the same thing is because you, 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 number one, you, you're saying things and you're not asking why you're thinking these things. Or in your thinking, he's saying, number two is, what are you feeding your subconscious mind? So I told him, I said, what is your, what are your friends feeding it? And what are you accepting? Well, my friends say that all men want to do it, all they want is sex and they want to do it. Okay, so okay, you, you're feeding your subconscious mind that. I said, what is your family saying? Well, your family, my family is saying, girl, no good man. So you're feeding your subconscious mind that. I said, I said, now what are you looking at? What, what TV shows? What are they feeding you? And then when I went way down and I said, all of these things are feeding you the same message and your subconscious mind is accepting that message. The truth is, y'all, you have to, even if you don't think like this now, you have to get around people who think like you want to think. Now, I'll repeat that. It is imperative that you inhabit the presence of people who think like you want to think. Okay, so COVID's around. Law, you can find people on the internet all day long. When I was in a funk last year, it was this dude that he was like a hippie type dude on YouTube. And it was he was talking about the law of attraction and manifestation. And I watched him for five, six months. And every morning before I went to the gym, every single morning, I would meditate. And I, my wife don't even know this. She don't even know this. And it was this dude, and, 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 and I kept saying that I will have, I am a millionaire. I'm going to be a big time coach. Because y'all, we all deal with stuff that's inside of us. We all deal with stuff. It's the thing you think about when you're driving by yourself. It's the thing you think about when nobody else, and it won't go away because you know what? No matter where you go, there you are. And that thought just keeps going. And I said to myself, and what we try to do is suppress the thought. No, embrace the thought and ask yourself, why am I thinking like this? And see, and I had to ask myself, why am I thinking like this? And I said, because there's something inside of me, a fear. 
a fear of something, insecurity that's causing me to believe this. It wasn't my outward, it wasn't, it wasn't the things that was going on outside of me. So what we do, y'all, we look outside ourselves to, to, to define why we get the results we do, the outcomes that we do. And every, it's an inside job. Everything that happens outwardly, that manifests outwardly, is because of what you think and believe inside. And if you're not willing to deal with that part of your life, if you're not willing to deal with why you believe what you believe, you don't keep getting the same thing. You'll keep getting the same thing. And I decided, I decided, y'all, and as I told everybody yesterday, I don't study to teach. I study to live and then simply teach what I've lived. That's what I do. I've written nine books, y'all. And every time, every book that I've ever written, it was based on something that I lived. It wasn't something that I studied. And the truth is, if you're not willing to live this thing out, you cannot have what it is you want to have. My cousin Courtney, she's on this slide. And I'm so proud of her. And y'all, she sent me a message the other day saying, I finally love myself. And the truth of the matter is, y'all, she's been going through the process for, for months, maybe even years, and getting to the point, she's been listening to the lies, my wife and, and my lies, and, and, and what happened. She read my wife's book. And the truth is, y'all, she was willing to do the work. She's willing to do the work to change her thought paradigm. Until you're willing to change that paradigm, it ain't going to happen. And so number three is the last thing is this, is you got to start somewhere. So part of it is programming your subconscious. So let me show you what we did, y'all. Me, me and my other partner, we did, we did these affirmation cards. Now, I want everybody on this call, if you can, get you a deck of these. So here's the deck of the affirmation cards. I created a company called Results, y'all, with, uh, with my partner, Lynch Hunt. When, it was when I, I, when I got off The Biggest Loser, I realized I wanted to help people. And the truth of the matter is, you helping people lose weight is not it's not based on working out or, or or eating right all of that it's changing this everything whether it be it relationships be it diet be it anything it starts up here if you believe something why well, y'all i can take it to political stuff then can i be honest with you the brain doesn't know if something is true or false or true or false it just simply whatever you feed it it feeds it back to you and a lot of and i don't want to get too political but why not it's my life. You know, Donald Trump has told over 20,000 lies. Okay, whether you believe it or not, I mean, 20,000 lies are mistruths. But his followers believe him no matter what he says. And they've been conditioned. What happened is they programmed their own subconscious mind. Y'all, when you tell your, ma your mind the same message over and over again, it doesn't know whether something is true or false. It doesn't know. It's your subconscious mind simply, simply feeds your conscious mind that which you fed it. So if you fed it positive things, if you fed it things from me or from other coaches or books you read, it's going to feed it back to your conscious mind, okay? And so what I tell people is this. So we created this affirmation deck. Affirmation deck are simply things that you say to yourself. And here's one of the, here's one of the cards. So it's 90 cards for 90 days. Let me put on my readers for this. And so when you get the card on one side, it's got the affirmation. This affirmation says, my fierce commitment to my vision keeps me moving forward, okay? On the back. It talks, hey, that's my partner. He all buff. That's me, okay, with the suit on. It says this, you are in a battle for your heart and for your future. You are attacked on all sides by the things big and small trying to knock you off course. You must fight for your vision because the war is worth winning. Y'all, every single day, you have to feed yourself this. Feed yourself this until you start believing it. See, remember, the mind doesn't know if it's true or false. It, it simply believes what you feed it. So everybody on this call, get a deck of these cards. Go to grandcanyons.com. I got the, uh, in this link, I got it, uh, the website. Um, get you this deck. Start the process. And the second thing I want you to do is this right here. You got to join the three-day challenge that Milani and I are doing. It's called Manifest Your Life creating momentum to get the things you desire. 
It's going to be powerful, y'all. If you want that, if you want to come to that free class, now the cards ain't free. These cards are not free, but they worth the investment. I think like $24, whatever it is. You want a new house? You want a new car? You want whatever. You want happiness. You want peace. Say I'm in, and we're going to teach you. All right? That's my time. Wow. It slipped up on me, y'all. Slipped up on me. Yo, I'm out. I'm Ken Kenny, the host of Love, Lust, and Lies. And until tomorrow, remember, every journey starts with one step.